All right, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Linux on your VirtualBox. But before we begin, I want to explain one thing, and it's going to clear up a lot of confusion that people have. And that is, what the heck is a distribution, and how is it different than Linux? Well, you know how I said that you can have Linux and install it on your computer or your server? Well, that's not entirely true. And it's kind of not true the same way that you can't just install Windows you need to pick a version of Windows. Windows 95, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Well, Linux is kind of the same way. Linux is the core operating system, and since this is open source, what people do is they customize it and add features to it, and those are called distributions or distros or distros, however you say it. So what we need to do is, instead of just installing plain Linux, we need to pick a distribution. So a distribution, like I said, is just a version of Linux, and there are a bunch that you can choose from. Some of the most popular ones are Debian, and the difference between them all is a lot of it is just personal preference, to be honest. Another thing is what programs already come pre-installed on it, what's the overall layout, the look and feel, and they customize some different things. But this is the interface of Debian, a really popular one. This is Linux Mint. That's uh, another popular one. This is Kali Linux. So this comes with a bunch of uh, pre-installed programs for like security analysts. And I say security analysts in quotation marks, those little air quotes I'm doing. But the one we're gonna be working with is Ubuntu. Now, don't freak out and be like, okay, so I'm gonna have to learn about Ubuntu and then I'm gonna have to learn about Debian and Linux Mint. Well. I'm going to be teaching you guys the core Linux concepts, and these concepts are going to apply no matter what distribution you have. So again, this is just one of the most popular ones. It's one of the most widely supported, and in my opinion, it's just awesome. So go to www.ubuntu.com and click desktop because we want the desktop version. You can also run this on like a server, like if you're hosting a website online, but since we're playing around with it, on our desktop that's what we're gonna do and click download Ubuntu so we are gonna be taken to this page right here and just like um you know they have different versions of uh, like Windows or whatever Windows 7 Windows 8 they always release new versions of Ubuntu as well so this one right here Ubuntu 14.04 this is the one that I'm going to recommend downloading and I'll explain real quick the difference between these. So every so often Ubuntu comes out with a stable version of their operating system. So you know how you're like okay I'm going to download this but I know in like three months they're going to come out with 15.04 and then you know two weeks later they're going to come out with a new version. People want to avoid that problem. So what they do is every so often they release a LTS version, in other words, a long-term support version. And whenever you download this, they say, okay, we're gonna come out with new updates, but we promise to keep supporting and keep fixing bugs with this LTS version. So this is the one that you should always download if you want a nice, uh, safe environment. If you want to get all the cutting edge features, then you can download the later ones, but 14.04 or whatever the LTS version is at the time when you're watching this video click download and then you're gonna be taken to this page now instead of paying anything if you just scroll all the way down you can hit not now take me to the download or if you want to donate go ahead and then it's gonna start downloading it so it's gonna download this file in this file if you look at the file extension it's an ISO so it has the file name .iso. Now this is, if you were to install this on a separate computer, like maybe your laptop, you would take this and burn it to a DVD, and then you can stick it in your DVD drive and install it just like, you know how like Windows comes on a DVD? So you could do it like that. However, since we're gonna be installing it on our virtual machine, we can just use this raw file. And I'll show you guys how to do that whenever this is done downloading. So pretty much right now we're downloading the core Ubuntu operating system, which is a distribution of Linux. And well, that's that. So let me just wait for this to download. 